All righty, we're back here. Terry and Victor, Project Exodus. And I think it's time we start doing stuff off planet. So last time we had finished the first bit of our first base on the moon, Luna. Unfortunately, uh, we can't afford to upgrade it yet. We need a little bit more boost. So I think that should be a priority is um, getting that score up somehow. We'll figure out a way. And we have a probe that is currently on its way to Mars. It will be there in just under one year. So that means we've got a year to build up a good stock of boost to launch a base or well, found a base there. Um, hopefully we can get some space mining on the moon happening before then. Another potential thing is we can do uh, another potential thing we could do is look at the solar system and see what things I still would like if it was sortable by probable because we can sort by resources but we can't sort by probable. I think that would be a nice feature. Every column should be sortable. I mean, I think technically it's, um, if you sort by distance, it will, it basically would be, but it's, it would be nice just to have them all in one spot. Because at the moment we get the inner system, asteroids and Mars. Let's just see, do any of these have fairly high looking, we don't know the metals or nobles or fissiles, or well, no fissiles there. Nice volatiles and water there, potentially. Very good volatiles on Deimos and Jarvis. Though we want to look at things that are slightly closer to us. This thing over here, it is at 1 AU. Is this that funny? No, it's not. It's just coincidentally at 1 AU currently. You can see we've got the launch window over here saying, um, 43% bonus because of the launch window, but that's 2150. I don't know. Um, yeah, we, that's something that we should look at. Um, we don't have the boost to really do anything, but we don't just have to look at Mars and the moon. We can look at asteroids for mining, which is also a very powerful thing. And I mean, they say that some of the first trillionaires are going to be the people who do asteroid mining. We need to do defense on Portugal because that expired. I do like that we got the reminder up there because I had forgotten that and we didn't get around to that last time. Yes, we did get some stuff happening here in the United States. So we want to deal with that soon. We have been getting a bit of public opinion boosting around here so we can perhaps capture the United States sometime. Though we are currently above the limit. We need to do something about that. Uh, well, let's advance time. Oh, okay, we did do the defend interests just send up a bunch of diggers and hope for the best. Even dirt doesn't behave the same way up there. One might as well build a house upon a pile of rice. Director Khalid Alashgar from his irregular newsletter, Preparing for Tomorrow. I like that, building a house upon a pile of rice. Oh yeah, this is a great research to get. Space mining and refining, as we were just talking about. We need this tech to do it. The resistance contributed the most and the selected electrostatic propulsion Fair enough. Yeah, hauling raw minerals up Earth's gravity well is the very opposite of a long-term plan. In order to spread further into space, we must be able to obtain at least some of what we need from space. Fortunately, nearby asteroids have no shortage of minerals and rare metals, from which we can begin to construct ships and facilities in space. Iron, carbon, aluminium, copper, oxygen, nitrogen, and water will be most urgently required, but gold and platinum will be readily available too but one cannot mine in space as one would on Earth. For one thing, low or microgravity mean mine resources cannot tumble neatly into containers or be automatically gravity separated by type, while structures cannot be built directly upon the surface. And so it is that the first method devised to address this is a distinctly unglamorous one, a system of long, up to one kilometer, cables and collection bags to tether equipment to an asteroid and to prevent mine resources from simply floating away. This is an important start, but truly mass mining will require far more advanced solutions and the capability to do and use more in situ form rather than depend on what Earth can send. The following technologies cannot be researched in situ resource utilization and industrialization of space. Mm -mm 
Mm. So we can get the orbital mining complex research coming up soon, and uh, we must jump on that. Adversaries have conducted a crackdown on our control point in Italy. As I said before, I'm not too bothered if they steal this. We were getting some stuff from it. You don't get anything from something if you're on a crackdown, but we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. This is completely unnecessary. Japan, under the control of the servants, has declared war on Ethiopia. What do you even want to do there? You're so far away. The war will only end when the leading nations on each side, with the greatest military strength, will agree to make peace or one side has captured all the capitals of the enemy and installed new governments. Like, why? So, Japan is under control of the servants with a bit of the academy there, and then Ethiopia over here is uncontrolled. So, like, why are they starting a war there? It's not like they're fighting against, like, servants versus um, humanity first or something it's just they don't like him that's a bit weird love to know the motivations there i mean they don't even have an army project complete audience research um so we just got a little bit of influence i just did that because we had already completed like three quarters of it so or two thirds we want to get well we haven't got the mining thing proper yet we can sort this by cost can sort it by category, so the different um, types of technology. Space dock would be cool we, to build spaceships, though I think I would prefer to be mining before we can build ships because just the way the game works, you need to have the resources to build these things, otherwise you need enormous amounts of boosts. So getting the mining first is priority. Um, we can get the, the warships project done, though. I wouldn't mind actually doing some cheap stuff because I'm hoping the... The space mining thing comes soon. I think let's get the warships project. Uh, um, we need to get some spaceships. I mean, we are Exodus, so we need to get spaceship tech. So I think that's a good start. It should be a quick one as well. So this unlocks auto cannons, 6 inch and 10 inch cannons, missiles, and then different body types, gunship, escort, and corvette. We can look in more detail about um, each of these things, but you can see as I'm quickly scrolling through. But you get a nice little bit of information about each of them, and then our ship types have different hard points and masses and costs. So you can select that, it will complete, well, in a long time, but I think that will update very quickly. We've done some investigation on the uh, alien activity in the United States. Okay, what do we need to do? Let's take a look at our uh, let's take a look at our countries over here. Sort by unrest. Afghanistan, Syria are still our highest sort by boost russia kazakhstan are our boost nations italy gives us a nice little bit when we're not under crackdown and uh, we can also look at expanding perhaps the eurasian union once we fully capture russia because if you do remember last time um, the academy had its little bit of a, a fall in favor allowing us to cap up half of the country i would like to get the rest of it soon. We do have enough influence to get the United States 3rd Special Forces Group. Can only be given to counselors with the government trait. Faction must have a control point in the United States or a counselor from there. Gives increased unrest, stabilized nation, assault alien asset, um, monthly income minus cash but five ops. Gives them command and security and military. So, um, if we were going for a more war-focused thing, I think that would be cool. Maybe for the the ops income, but at the moment, I think spending 100 influences is not quite worth it. Um, I think we looked at this one last time and decided, meh. Let's just check that there's nothing special available for any of these others. Doesn't look like it. We Oh, yeah, we can recruit another counselor. I forgot about that. We were waiting for... 60 influence. This is the problem with recording in steps. We've got a UK evangelist here. He looks a little bit pasty. Very high persuasion. He can do that. Ooh, okay. I do like this. He's got the turn counselor and the inspire mission. Inspire allowing us to improve the loyalty of another counselor, making them more resistant to interrogation and attempts to turn them. So that's actually very good. Um, I was w hoping we could find someone with that. So Definitely 
top of the list at the moment. We've got a celebrity over here. Very high persuasion, nine. I think that's the highest we've seen so far. Um, he's a sociopath, less loyalty. He does have the turn counselor, but otherwise his missions are a little bit meh. He's affluent, but he's also a lone wolf. So I don't particularly like him. Got a rebel here. Very high espionage and command and security. Lots of available missions. Let's just see. I don't think this... They've got the, the turn counselor. Extract counselor as well. Extracting detained ones. So very combat focused. Well, they are a rebel. They're hard targets. Demagogues. Uh, which is interesting because it uh, gives them very different stats in different countries with different levels of cohesion and education and stuff. Kind of cool if we were going for perhaps a more intrigue and um, combat focused one. We've got a kingpin. I think we may have looked at this person last time. Um, but I think we decided against them. We've got another tech mogul, but we already have one. They give a ton of money though because they're billionaires. We've got a hacker over here. Prosperous computer scientist, influence and research, and a commando over here. Though I really think the evangelist is the most powerful for us at the moment. They also give us influence, a little bit of ops. Um, quick learner, 20% less XP cost for augmentations. Eminent gives six influence. Crew has a small team of loyal followers who serve as bodyguards and conduct operations, so it gives ops points and plus one security. Yeah, I'm going to get them for the Inspire and Turn Counselor, because um, any more counselors we want to get will basically be turning enemies. Well, I think we can get one more after this, and then two more turned. So I'm going to recruit David Brown over here, Mr. Pastyface. No orgs we've got at the moment that we can assign to them. But the great thing is we could then get them to go inspire our people. Inspire improves the loyalty of another counselor. So we can go look at our counselors and we can see loyalty 13, loyalty 3, 10, 6, and he's got 6. The ones in red with a question mark, we don't actually know their loyalty. I'll let we know because she's got a trait that always shows a loyalty. So we can see that the lowest apparent loyalty is Vagish over here so I think we should say David Brown go inspire him we don't actually know their loyalty but um, just inspiring them gives a chance that if they do get turned they might be like ah okay fine you're right I still like you so very powerful we want to do that basically continuously now so everyone gets very high Let's get you to stabilize Afghanistan. We can make contact with a um, humanity first counselor. We can investigate our own counselors as well. Get a feeling for their own loyalties. I think contact might be a good idea because we can perhaps see if uh, some of these other factions have some orgs that we might want to get. Ones that give boost perhaps. Ones that give mission control. You can go... Assault some alien assets in Damascus. I think you should just keep doing some public campaigns in the United States. Um, we've got the money for it. Establishing contact. Trade negotiations. At least the technologies you are developing will be useful in the fight against the invaders. This guy's very aggressive. Look, if you wipe out the entire of humanity and the aliens at once, um, what happens? Yep. Someone's got to live. But let's see. We can do a non-aggression pact, but they're going to need something from us. Um, they do have a lot of money, not much boost. Let's see what orgs they have. They've got quite a few, actually. Let's see. Harper Analytics. Da, 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 da. Templin Institute, another YouTube channel that does cool stuff, gives research. Influence, influence, unity, investigate, counselor mission, projects, money, Mensa. Lots of engineering groups, nothing for what we wanted, boost or mission control. That's fine. I like this one because it gives a bunch of science as well. Though that makes it expensive. I think we can just say this, not do any aggression from each other. I will give you... 
Can I give you two influence? One influence? There we go. You can maybe even do it with cash. See, one cash. Whatever um, the unit is, I don't actually know. So I just call it one monies. I feel they... Uh, I'm not quite sure what the balancing of these trades is. I think that's probably something that they're still working on in early access. Cool. Also, you'll notice since we got another counselor, um, we increased our points that we can manage. So now our influence drain is gone and we're building up a lot more. I believe they'll stay loyal to the cause. Okay, so our David Brown over here has checked out Vagish Luthera and he seems to be more enthusiastic. Um, but he doesn't really know what their loyalty is or ha how much it has changed. Still cool. We can do an investigate thing on them to see their actual loyalty later on. Sisters and brothers, I remind you the Lord said, Shall the axe boast over him who hews with it? Or the saw magnify itself against him who wields it? It is our destiny, our right, to embrace the marvels he has seen fit to provide us. The enemy would have you believe this is playing God, but nay. We are taking dominion of our world and claiming our rightful place at his right hand. Superior Judith Howell, Xenobaptist Sermon. Night of Cleansing Flame. That is um, a little bit ominous. I, I don't really get them... Um... I really don't. But anyway, global research, photonic computing, and the protectorate computer compute contrib the protectorate contributed the most and has selected arrival international relations. Uh, so going into some interesting researches that might be useful for a little bit of unity depending on how things get selected. Our current computing devices depend upon passing a current through increasingly tiny microchips. But the laws of physics present barriers we cannot circumvent. The road to the future is not paved in processes shrunk by a handful more nanometers, but instead in light, using photons rather than electrons. By replacing electronic data transfer and storage with photonic or optical equivalents, we can dramatically increase both the speed and efficiency of our computational capabilities. Though optoelectronic hybrids exist, these systems lose nearly 30% of their energy due to the inefficiency of signal conversion. Wholly optical circuits remove this inefficiency and thus can process algorithms at a speed beyond the reach of traditional devices while consuming far less energy. At last, we have our first working photonic chip. This is the breakthrough we have long needed, one that will ultimately birth an even brighter future of quantum computing and true artificial intelligence. I'm not actually sure um, how far optical um, electronics have progressed currently. I'd be interested to see anything about that. Um, Anyway, um, technology is coming from that are advanced neural networks. Increased public support in the United States of America by 5% again. Okay, we've got some new orgs potentially available, depending on what we can afford. Okay, we've got a bunch of Foxglove brands, just gives cash. Protect target. Costs money, gives security. Gives control nation. Monthly income of plus four influence and plus one persuasion fairly cheap as well might be worth it Hathor strategy public campaign increase unrest control nation gives a big increase in money influence science persuasion investigation and espionage costs a lot of money a little bit of influence Inc hmm hmm that's actually quite good costs a hell of a lot but we got a fairly good income at the moment and this will just improve our income as well i think even giving it to him would be good i'm gonna do that basically that's all the orgs we can give him at the moment unless we increase his admin but that's made his persuasion 10 which is pretty fantastic because now if we use that on some of our counselors we've got a way better chance of succeeding um, perhaps also using him for public campaigns and stuff. Yeah, nice. Anything for anyone else? We can just give him a little bit more of um, influence income. Increase his um, 
persuasion a little bit. So this guy's got a little bit more persuasion, so maybe it would be more valuable on him because he does give us a lot of influence as well. Cool. Um, David Brown. Let's go look. Oh, let's go back and look at this. Who is our lowest apparent loyalty? It's still Vagish over here. He can't inspire himself, can he? No, of course not. I'm going to put it on the other dude. This is now 69%. Nice chance. So we can just spend a tiny amount now to boost it up all the way to 81%. Let's just do a public campaign in Russia because we want to fully camp that. And you, United States, do we have any chance of capturing? Nope. Let's do one more public campaign here. Dumping in a fair amount of money. I will try to sway the public. Boost is at 8.2, so maybe at the end of the month. Success, um, but we don't know how it increased. We might want to do an investigate them next and do someone else. Outmost mining complex project. We want that. We really want that. I mean, in fact, we're going to place interplanetary warships. We can always resume that, but outpost mining complex is critical. As it says, yeah, a small but critical facility that mines and refines ore and uses an electromagnetic catapult to deliver the product to our other herbs. We need it. We need it. My precious. In fact, I'm going to boost that all the way. We get it in June, another six months. We've got nine boosts now, so we can go look at our moon base. And we can say we can put a solar collector on here. As you can see, it costs us. Oh, we could have built this a while ago. I must be misremembering something. Maybe it was nine to start the base there. But we can build a solar collector here, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't make any difference because we need to still get the mining complex. So uh, cost 6.7 boost to build on Earth. It'll take 35 days. We can get fission piles and stuff later on, but we don't have the technology. So let's just build it on Earth. 6.7 boost down the drain to launch up some solar panels. And in a month, we'll have that base powered. France, under the control of the resistance, has declared war on Vietnam. Why? Is it the servants? Protectorate? Okay. Don't really get it, but sure, you do that. You do you, bro. We, cause, yeah, we just need all the wars, right? Whatever. Global, so there are three wars going on. Russia, Ukraine, Japan, Ethiopia, and France, Vietnam. Dumb. Here you can see how the environment has changed. I haven't been keeping track of it, but if people start blowing up things, um, yeah, we might get some big changes there. The aliens, of course, some alien activity in Chad. Bunch of bases that we know about. Oh, we've got enough mission control. Excellent. I don't know when we developed that, but uh, that must have come very recently. Awesome. So now we can control one more facility in orbit or out in the solar system. Fantastic. And we do also have this more control, so we could perhaps start capturing some more control points. Investigate completed in Chad. I wonder if you can hear all the frogs on my microphone. There are a lot of frogs outside tonight. Got another activity here. Let's boost all it over there. Because she we know is low. Not critically low, but definitely low. Why has our control point cost gone up so much? There must have been um some changes in GDP or something in some countries to change the equation. He's the one with the investigate, and we wanted to investigate him. Standing by. I don't think anyone else actually has that. Oops. Oh well, Standing it's a good by. thing we boosted him up. Hopefully he's at a decent level now. We just need to keep stabilizing things. Let's do Afghanistan now. So we can use him to investigate. We can investigate her. 96% chances. Very high. Eyes on target. Let's do another public campaign, I think. And um, we could also just go look at our nations quickly and see where we're not liked. Um, Finland, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. So let's do Finland. Put a little bit of money in there as well. Make our appeal. You. We need more ops to do the investigate alien activity, but we could surveil the location. Capturing here, not a chance. 
Let's just do a surveil, see if we discover anything over here. I mean, we do have Chagong Station over here um, that we're not doing anything with, and it is actually costing us. Uh, we could start adding stuff. We can add a, a solar collector here for 1.5 boost and then start doing some space labs. I just want to get our mining up first before we start spending. So it is costing us a little bit of stuff at the moment uh, and a mission control, but it will it will pay off eventually. Um, we could also use it as a massive bargaining chip if we want to do a big trade deal. Um, we'll see. Another alien fleet has entered low Earth orbit. I believe they'll stay loyal to the cause. Okay, he increased her apparent loyalty by two. That's all right. We have pinpointed the actual loyalty of Leji at 10, which is fine. Got some new orgs available. Dionidas, we've got that. We've seen that before. Just want to check if there aren't any. The DEA is available. Uh, massive cost money. Detain counselor and crack down. Cost a ton. Give a little bit of ops and a little bit of investigation really doesn't seem worth it does it i don't see why we would get that at this point um, you can tell me if you can see a reason why but for the cost i don't um xp 30 40 40 40 so let's look at you we can remove corrupt corrupt is giving him espionage but costing money and reducing their loyalty by three so if we reduce, uh, remove that, we will get a little bit of some loyalty somehow there. Uh, that might be worth 40 XP there, So, because we, we don't want them working against us. Um, so I think that is a good thing to do there. Um, we will lose some of that espionage there, but yeah, it's fine. Corruption, I don't stand by that. We can remove the earthbound trait which means she can go to orbit, but at the moment, not a big deal. She is, however, an addict, which is costing money, reducing security and espionage. So if we remove that, just become overall bet putters. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, you, we can give you the senior computer scientist trait. So you're currently just a computer scientist, gives plus 15% to information science and five science that'll increase to 10 science gives you plus one science and plus 25 percent to information science so basically good in all things there and an increase to your science will give us more research out of you so yeah i think that's great let's just check if there's anything we can do with you i mean we could you don't have any 40 xp costing ones so we could make you rich Streetwise, or harder to kill, or we could just give you more persuasion, give you more admin because you're almost filled up. Also gives you a little bit more money if you have more admin. Um, I'll think about that. Let's get you. Well, let's see. You've got a very high persuasion. How far can you get in the United States? Eleven percent. And if you do a public campaign, you can do pretty well there but i think for now just going and making everyone a more loyal subject to exodus is um better I'll make sure they're on our side. investigate alien activity in chicago let's actually get you Checking to do that orders. public campaign you can do it in finland again just one more time yeah that other dude actually got way more success here so he was at like 80 percent with 80 cash i think it was so yeah uh, makes a difference because you got up to 11 percent. she can only get up to you know just a few hijacked and this is why um i wanted a computer scientist a hacker has taken control of a major payload we just launched they've sent us a message threatening to redirect it to burn up in the atmosphere unless we pay them a sizable ransom of course we have no guarantee that they'll actually keep their word even if we do pay don't negotiate with terrorists um, so that costs us three boost pay the ransom and hope the hacker holds up the end 70 percent chance that they 
upheld that and we pay 2.5k. 30% chance that they say screw you and we pay boost and cash. Have one of our own experts regain control of the payload. Senior computer scientist or chief computer scientist. 60% chance of success, 40% chance cost boost. Um, backtrace their identity and take something precious of theirs hostage in return. Jeez. Extremist factions pay ops. Well, this is why we've got a computer scientist. 60% chance. Let's see what happens. Ah. Uh, at least we did something, okay? Sucks we're losing boost, though. Our most precious resource. Um, okay. Hunters. Armed individuals have been spotted hunting alien life forms in Damascus. Uh, their motivations range from commercial, with the exotic quarry being sold to curious customers for a hefty sum, to seemingly purely for the thrill of it. We can't afford to do any of these other things because most of them cost ops. So they're just going to have to get along with their thing and public opinion increases for the aliens in Syria. I would love to know what these alien life forms look like. But yeah, it gives you, reminds me of some of the things in um, Pacific Rim where that people start doing funny stuff with them. Public support increased in Russia. The United Kingdom, under the control of the resistance, have declared war on Lower Guinea and Pakistan. The defending alliance will be led by Pakistan. Why is everyone going to war? So, Pakistan and Lower Guinea. Where is Lower Guinea? We've got Middle Guinea. I, I, uh, what? I don't get it. Where's Lower Guinea? Upper Guinea. Senegambia. Cameroon. Why does this feel made up? Okay, whatever. Um, ignore that. Investigate alien activity completed. France and Syria have ended their alliance because, you know, the world's gone crazy. Aliens have rapidly become more popular in Brazil. Perhaps we should investigate for alien activity there. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we've got our own problems. Uh, we've completed construction of our solar collector on our moon base. So now we're just waiting for mining stuff to become available. We could potentially... Um, speed things up by reducing our things another time 5th of June though I don't know how much boost it's going to take to build one but we could say you know and now it will be the 1st of May so that's uh, one month faster prioritize what we need let's just look at our people okay no new orgs 13, 3, 10, 8. Maybe you should do another on Vigish because maybe just do one little burst on Thomas just in case. And then you can go investigate Thomas over there. Cost Ops, we don't have it. But let's just see. Let's check our nations for stability. Syria is increasing. So let's go do something there. You can go assault aliens. We have some in Finland. Oh shit. Finland and Riyadh. Um, I don't think we have any points in Saudi Arabia. So since you're right there, interesting that they're happening right there. 40% is not great. But get rid of them in Helsinki and maybe do a survey location since you're right here and see, see what the hell's going on there. Couldn't impact the loyalty of them. We don't know how much it's changed. Okay. They've found nothing of note. Didn't work. Okay. Uh, defend interest in Russia has expired. We need to fix that. Complete success. We estimate to reduce the alien flora and fauna here by 66, but likely some remains. Not bad for the low chance that we had for that, so. New orgs available. We've got the resources for Los Alamos National Laboratory. Isn't that the one where they do the um, fusion ignition? Lots of science, lots of cost, energy research. Hmm. I mean, it would be cool, but yeah. You can go defend Russia. Israel defend mission has expired. So we can get... 
We kill some aliens. Now they. Oh, geez. Norway, Sweden, Russia, and Saudi Arabia. Geez, they're spreading. So let's go to Oslo and try and kill him. Crazy. Get you to surveil a little bit just to see. Since that seems to be the central region there. Ooh, kind of scary. We believe we've wiped out all the aliens there in Oslo. Great. We've got four mission control now. That stuff's going up. We can make contact with Protectorate. Would be interesting to see what they have. Let's look at this. I forget which one does unrest. I think it's... Um, we need to increase cohesion. Quali low cohesion and low quality of life. Uh, military spending and armies can reduce it, especially in non-democracies, but that's not where we're about. And so we can do um, some welfare, and maybe the economy as well. So we do that, and oh, we are doing that in Afghanistan. Cool, okay. So I think we spend a lot of time doing stabilizing missions. Let's see what we can do about um, public campaigns, you can do something in Russia. You can investigate. Let's investigate the new dude. You continue finding aliens as you do best. Um, we've got some in Russia, so let's get rid of those because in Russia, a little bit in Finland. So in one month, we should be able to get our research for space mining. Actually, end of this month, so that's quick. Okay, as much as I disapprove of you wanting to freaking be a dick. You can do a non-aggression pact. Let's just check what orgs you have. You've got a lot of them. So let's see. We're mainly looking for boost. Someone with science is kind of cool. Ops income wouldn't hurt, but um, not a priority. Investigate counselor is a useful mission to give to someone else because we can't do that on um, Vergish because he's the only one we've got that on so might not be the worst one to get put that on our new dude perhaps or one of the others I'll put that in the list for now another one with space mining boosts which would be great turn counselor mission science well, that's quite a decent one but it's gonna be expensive Draconis Edmund how much does this cost not worth it um it's because we're going for two things there so um so he's not happy with just one for a trade okay so they they value the non-aggression pact a little bit more than some of the other people i guess it depends on their feelings towards you hmm. i don't want to give them a lot of other stuff complete. their actual loyalty is six for david over there so not particularly great Good to know that we don't have anyone else who can We're boost that their hearts and minds. the people will come to our side we have another alien crash very soon target remains operational we were repelled by the target defenses okay population of the earth is by 8.095 billion in 1954 the americans built the first nuclear powered submarine and change the course of naval warfare. Now, it is upon us to become the creators of the first nuclear-powered spaceship. It is upon us to define warfare in space. Commander Fiona Ayawade comments to media at Churchill Shipyards. Kind of love her. That's where nuclear things should be, not in missiles, but powering spaceships. Nuclear fission in space research the Academy contributed the most and has selected solid core fission systems. We're going to talk about that when we get the research. Oh, I'm going to get so into some of these rockets when we get there. But that actually gives us access to stuff. Increases the global nuclear fission tech level by one. Buffering the world against energy crises. 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 The following technologies can now be researched. Solid core fission systems. And we will unlock perhaps the fission pile, which basically allows us to get nuclear power in space. Since we discovered nuclear fission in 1938, we have used this knowledge both to give and to take, to build power plants and weapons of mass destruction alike. 
With every passing decade, our understanding of the forces that rule the universe grew, and we were able to refine this process further. However, until now, reactors needed the pull of gravity in order to obtain the chain reaction and to keep the water flowing. Without that flow, nothing happens. For fission heats water, water becomes steam, steam turbines and turbines generate electricity. Now, combining our new concepts for deep space propulsion with our decades of experience in nuclear fission, we're able to stabilize the first nuclear reaction in space. With our new reactor designs, we no longer need gravity to collect the energy released by splitting atoms. Our new containment systems ensure a safe, sustained chain reaction in zero G. I'm actually not sure if this would be the first nuclear reaction in space because I, I'm not 100% certain, but I think the Russians were doing something... Um, sort of one of their hush-hush projects. Um, I'm not 100% certain. Uh, I might have to do a little Google. Anyway, thanks to this achievement, our fission-powered spacecraft can now reach the darkest and furthest corners of our solar system. Nuclear reactors will power ships, weapons, and habitats, enabling us to harness countless resources far beyond our homeworld's atmosphere and meet the aliens in the vast openness of space rather than bound to own soil. Furthermore, these new technologies will help us build the next generation of, of solid fission systems and explore even greater energy potential of nuclear fusion in space. Very exciting. I am a big proponent for this. Again, um, I've put this in a lot of the links uh, of the descriptions of the videos, but check out the Atomic Rockets websites. Um, they talk about a lot of this stuff, and it is one of my favorite websites ever. Rivalry ends. Russia under the control of the Academy and Japan have ended their rivalry. I'm happy with that. Um, we should be unifying, not fragmenting in this time. But that's that's what the game's about. I think it is kind of realistic. People people do fragment. People form groups and don't agree with each other. It's just the way it is. I don't like it. Let's put a little bit of money into a public campaign in the United States and see if we can next time get him to perhaps capture a point there. Um, How have things changed? Syria and Afghanistan have gone up again. It's a constant back and forth battle. Let's look at opinions. Gulf states, Afghanistan are low. Where are we getting our mission control from? Russia, Italy and Kazakhstan. So it looks like Italy is getting developed like crazy by the um, academy, I think. Let's go look at their... No, it's us that's putting all the, the money in there. It's having an effect. Interesting, maybe we should actually uh, care a bit more about it since we're getting so much from it. And do some more detaining, or I mean investigations. Um, let's look at Thomas and see if we can get his actual loyalty. I'm gonna put in a little bit of ops there, two points. I want to actually know you keep fighting the aliens. Fight the good fight. We will give you one point of ops as well. Ready for orders. I might see about increasing our support in Italy since it actually seems to be um, our case. more valuable to us than I was thinking earlier. Oh yes. Okay. Project complete. The outpost mining complex. So now we can start to create mines. You'll see that they have 12 crew. They weigh 127 tons. They cost 5 power. One mission control. Let's finish the interplanetary warships project now, but we're gonna balance things out. And we can go look at our base here. Can we afford it? We cannot. It requires oh, oh. fifty six point nine boost. Holy poop. Okay. Um as I think I said at the beginning of the episode, um, boosters are priority. We need a lot of that. Maybe it's time to go hard on the United States and get some of their boost capacity. Maybe it's time we need to get some more of Russia to get the rest of their boost. Let's look at the, the nation map around the world and see who has the boost. Russia, United States, China, Japan, Italy, France, Germany, United Kingdom. Okay, 
maybe we capture another point in Israel and start developing it further, um, develop Russia further, develop Kazakhstan further, capture America, maybe capture more points in Italy. Okay, so I think we're going to call that there for now, but with that massive rev revelation of the amount of boost we need. Yeah, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Space is a tricky business. There are some technologies we're going to have to look at. Um, I don't think we actually have them available, but there is a thing we can get later on that gives us space stuff. So um, space orgs. That might be where we need to get it. Otherwise, it's going to take us... We need 59 at an income of plus 3. It's going to take us quite some time. It's going to take like a year. More than a year. That sucks. Let me know your tips on how we can get boost faster. Uh, maybe we need to do some direct investment. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. And I'll check you next time.